Good evening from Lviv in western Ukraine, a key waypoint tonight in a refugee crisis of dimensions that are historic. Civilians, very much a part of this war, but reliable escape routes amid heavy fighting are growing harder to come by. Wars can be defined by single moments and graphic images. And a warning, you're about to see one of them. Video of four people, including family members, killed by a Russian mortar as they try to evacuate. This evening, a U.S. defense official says it appears Russia's full pre-invasion force is now fully engaged in the fight, and yet Ukrainian armed forces continue to resist. Richard Engel remains on the front lines here in Ukraine and leads us off tonight. Russian troops are now on Kiev's doorstep, and they're trying to break in through a suburb called Irpin. And this slippery row of planks is the only way for civilians to get out. The Ukrainians blew up this bridge in order to slow down the Russian advance, but it has also made it extremely difficult for people to evacuate these areas that are hotly contested. Civilians today were crossing in wheelchairs or carried out. But even as they escape, Russian troops keep firing on them. This disturbing video yesterday captured what Russia is unleashing on civilians fleeing its onslaught. In the background, you see people running down the sidewalk, leaving Irpin. And then this. A mortar strike. Ukrainian soldiers move in to help. But on that sidewalk, at least four people, three from one family, lie dead. Those who made it out today, loaded onto waiting ambulances, thank God for their salvation. I can't even express how I feel, she says. At the same time Russia has been shelling civilians, today it offered what it claimed were evacuation routes for them out of four Ukrainian cities. So-called humanitarian corridors, rejected by Ukraine because virtually every path leads to hostile territory in Russia or its ally Belarus. Ukrainian President Zelensky has strongly criticized President Biden and the West for not placing sanctions on Russia sooner to try to prevent the invasion. In a speech today, Zelensky again pleaded for a ban on the sale of Russian oil. Meanwhile, a senior U.S. defense official tonight says nearly 100 percent of Russia's troops that were on the Ukrainian border are now inside the country, though they continue to meet Ukrainian resistance, even in areas Russia now controls. Ukrainians lying down in front of Russian vehicles even riding on top of one, waving a Ukrainian flag. Back in Kiev today, the main children's hospital took the difficult decision to evacuate the most fragile patients. Those unable to walk were lifted onto buses. Victoria is leaving behind her husband. He's staying in Kiev to fight. From the bus, the children and their parents are loaded onto a train bound for Lviv, nine hours away. War has reduced Ukraine to this, a train full of sick kids evacuating as the Russians close in. Victoria does her best to keep her baby Mark calm. How are you feeling right now? Bad, she says. I don't want to leave, but I have to. As the train set off for the West for safer territory. Russia today dialed back its demands. Instead of calling for regime change and total surrender, the Kremlin said it would stop the war immediately if Ukraine vowed never to join NATO and accepted Russian control over Crimea and parts of eastern Ukraine. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.